Hey everyone, it's Alex here again at the Code Wolf, and in this video we're going to see just how easy it is to programmatically send text messages through Azure Communication Services. Let's see how it works. So for a couple of years as a developer, I worked pretty extensively with the Twilio APIs. Twilio offers a number of different products for text messaging, video calling, and all kinds of other uh, communication-based services. So when I heard that Azure was coming out with a similar platform, I was very interested to see how they compared to one another. Specifically, I was interested in how difficult it was to get up and running and just send a basic text or make a, you know, a basic phone call and things like that. So in this video, we're going to look at how to just quickly create a service and send a text and see it on your phone. ACS actually does have a huge number of products as well, including video calling and lots of other things, but let's just focus on that quick scenario for now. There's basically three steps that we'll have to implement. One is to actually create our communication service instance in Azure and register a phone number to use with that. Number two is writing the code to actually send the text and number three is testing it on a real device and making sure that that's all hooked up properly. So over in the Azure portal, it's pretty easy to create a communication service. Up in the search bar here, let's just search for communication and click on communication services here. Now I do want to mention that in order to use this service, you have to be using a paid Azure subscription. This is one of the few services that you can't use with trial credits or any, any type of free credit like that. So let's click Create Resource, and I'm just gonna choose my default Azure subscription here. And let's use our Code Wolf resource group, or you can create a new one. And I'm gonna call this Wolf SMS, since we'll only be using texting for this video. And then say Review and Create, and give Azure a moment to verify this. Once that's ready, let's go ahead and click Create. So just give that a moment to run, and I'll be back when this finishes. So that completed successfully, and now we can click Go to Resource here, and this will take us to the overview page where there's all kinds of options for us to work with. Now for this case, we want to actually go to this phone number section, which will let us register a phone number that we can use for texting. Now in this case, you actually do have to buy a real phone number. Um, I haven't found a way to use test phone numbers or anything like that. So we'll wanna click Get a Number, and in this case, I'm gonna choose the United States and give that a second to load here. And we're gonna be using an application to send texts, not a uh, person making calls or text or anything like that. And we wanna choose toll free. And let's just say that it can send and receive SMS. Uh, these configurations can factor into pricing and which numbers are available and things like that. But just choose whatever settings here work for you and then let's say next. And I don't really care about the number prefix here, but I'll just choose one of these and search for an available number. And it looks like Azure did find a number for us and that's gonna cost $2 a month, but I'm just gonna delete this after we're done, so it's not a big deal. So let's click next to go to the summary and then let's say place order. Now you'll notice at the bottom, well, and now in the middle of the page here, it'll say, order in progress, and it said that this might take up to 15 minutes to complete. I've done this a few times and it's never taken anywhere near that long, but just give it a couple minutes and your number should activate. And there it is, we have a green check, and there it is, we have a green check mark next to our phone number and we're ready to go. The next step is to actually set up the code and use some of the Azure client libraries to start sending texts programmatically. So let's switch over to Visual Studio and I've created a really basic console app running in .NET 6. Uh, so this is just kind of the out of the box template here. And the first thing we have to do is install the NuGet package to work with Azure Communication Services. So let's go over to our NuGet, NuGet package explorer and let's search for Azure Communication up here. And I've already done that. So I'm just gonna pick Azure Communication.SMS since again, we're gonna be sending text messages and then click install and accept the license terms and wait for that to finish. Once that's ready to go, we can go back over to our program file here. Now, if you remember at the beginning, I said that I was interested in how long it takes to get up and running with uh, these Azure communication services and send out a basic text. 
And the answer to that is it's actually very simple from a coding perspective. You can actually do this in two lines of code, which is kind of crazy, uh, but let's take a look at how this works. So the first thing we have to do is create an SMS client. Uh, most uh, services in Azure use some sort of client object like this, and the service is no different. And we can assign that to a new SMS client. And this client wants us to pass in either a connection string or an Azure key credential. Now, in this case, we're gonna use a connection string just because it's simpler for a quick start. But in real apps, you should always gravitate towards using um, the token credentials. Connection strings do work just fine, but they can cause some management headaches in terms of keeping them secure and making sure that they don't end up in the wrong place. So for now, we'll use the connection string, but just be aware of that. And to get that connection string, we can go back to the Azure portal. And under this keys section here, um, we can just copy this connection string and then go back to our app and paste that into our code. Now, again, you would never want to put a connection string directly in your code. You would want this to at least be in some sort of secure environment variable or something. But again, for this quick start, this will work just fine. Now, the next line of code that we need is just to send a text message. So we can say SMS send result. And I'm not using var here just to make things a little bit clearer. And it looks like we need a semicolon at the end here. Uh, but then we can say send result equals, and then we'll use our SMS client to send. So there's a send method here. And then this accepts three parameters, uh, which are from, to, and message. So the phone number it's coming from, the phone number it will be sent to, and what we want the text message to say. It's really that simple. So the from is actually gonna be the number that we registered in Azure, which in this case, uh, we can find that in our phone number section again. And there we can find our number. So I'm just going to copy this here. And then for the two, we can put in whatever number we wanna send this to. I'm just gonna enter the number for uh, my phone here. And make sure that you do format this with the plus one at the front. Um, a lot of communication services like this require the plus one and it can throw people off because they're not used to adding that when they're working with phone numbers. So make sure to include that. And then for the message, I'm just going to say, hello from the code wolf. And this will be the text that actually gets sent out to my phone. And then we can add our semicolon. And then down in our console.write line, um, we can make sure that we get the ID back from the message that was sent, uh, just to make sure that that was successful. So we can say the ID was, and then we can look at the send result dot message ID. Uh, if the message was successful, it will have an ID and it will print that out to our console. Now, to make this a little more interesting, I'm going to use a tool called Visor that can actually project my phone onto the desktop in a little window here. So I have this uh, Visor window open, and I've already sent one text just to kind of get this view going, but let's see what happens when we actually run this app. And I'll just put these side by side, so this is a little bit easier to see here. So we've got our phone over on the right and our simple app on the left. And let's just run this app and see what happens. And we can see there it is. Hello from the Code Wolf pops right in. It's fast, it's easy, and we did this with only a few lines of code. It's really that simple. So if you ever need to programmatically send text messages from your app, Azure Communication Services can provide all kinds of services. We're going to dive much deeper into this service in other videos to see how features like video messaging and chat and bulk text work and things like that. But hopefully this gives you an idea of just how easy it is to get started with this service. Check it out and have fun messing around with it. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and I'll see you next time right here at The Code Wolf.